Hi everyone, it's Emily Munn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, I work full time in a corporate job and sell on Poshmark and eBay as my side hustle. So today I have a haul for you and I'm so excited to do this. So I purchased about $250 worth of designer shoes, boots, and then one clothing item on Poshmark and I thought it would be fun to sit down and share that with you. So if that sounds interesting, then stick around and I will go over the haul. A little bit of background before I get started. So I have purchased from this particular Poshmark seller before and I know she has very high end designer items. So when I saw she was adding things in my size to her closet, I was definitely very interested in purchasing right away. I ended up buying six items from her for that $250 price point. So there is a moto jacket in there, a pair of shoes, and then four pairs of boots. So I will just go through it. I have everything right next to me. And if you really like anything, let me know down below. I know there are a lot of trendy pieces in here and I'm just really excited to show you. I've never done a haul on YouTube before. I do them all the time over on my Instagram page at Emily H. Munn. So I'm excited to show these to you. The first item is this Barbara Boy, I think is how you pronounce it, moto jacket. And it's just a plain black jacket. I like though it's like a thinner material. So I feel like this would be really good to wear to work. And it's a very like transitional piece, like I could wear it to work, I could wear it if I wanted to like go out to dinner or even to a special event. It's got like zippers even on the sides. A very, very high-end brand. And I'm so happy to find this in my size. Next up are these Chloe heels have them in the wrong order. Uh, these Chloe heels, this brand retails for quite a bit. They do make fakes, so be careful if you find it at the thrift store, but I was really excited to find these in my size. I thought they would be great for the Poshmark Poshfest 2018 party, actually. You can see on the back, I think they'll be pretty comfortable. They have like a wedge heel and in great shape. So I'm excited to wear these this fall. And I think this was actually one of the cheapest items I got. So I got a great deal on these. These retail for quite a bit and Chloe's just a very popular brand right now. So that's it for the blazer and the shoes. And I'm gonna move on to short and tall boots next. And I'm gonna start with the Barbara Boy, which is the same brand as the Blazer. Tall black suede leather boots. I love these. I hope they fit over my calf. I actually haven't tried anything on yet. So if I end up selling any of it, I will let you know um, in the description down below. But these are Barbara Boy boots and I just thought they would be nice with like a pair of skinny jeans for fall or even with like the dress I have on right now. I could wear a tall pair of boots with it and really dress it up. I'm a little worried about the heel here because it is pretty darn tall and I'm not great in heels, but I still think they are an awesome boot and I cannot wait to wear them. Just a little bit of background, I'll give you like a full, how much this would have retailed for versus how much I purchased it for the $250 at the end, but these alone would have cost me $700 if I would have purchased it at a regular store. So that's those. Next up, these are really nice and they're super trendy. These are Reed Crack Off boots. I love the side here on these. I feel like the like split side boots is super in style right now. Definitely be on the lookout for that at thrift stores. You can see the bottom here. They're hardly worn at all. They are in great shape. And this is a really unique heel. It's like very slender in the middle and I feel like it'll really stand out. So I'm very excited to wear these again with probably some skinny jeans or a dress this fall. Black is the trend here, y'all. I bought eight or I'm sorry, I bought six things and they're all black. <laughs> oh well, at least they'll go with everything. Next up are these they're almost like a combat style boot, not quite. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this one right. They are Gin Ginato Rossi combat boots. They are leather and actually don't have a heel on these, so I feel like it would be great for like a weekend. If 
them going on a thrift store run, they should be pretty comfortable. And you can see the bottom here. They are hardly used at all. I was so surprised. I love this style of boots and I'm seeing a lot of like big celebrities and bloggers wearing this style of boots. So I feel like they'd be really, really trendy for the fall season and I just cannot wait to wear them. And one more item, this one is my absolute favorite. I love these so much. I got so many questions about these when I posted them on my Insta stories. Here they are. They are Pierre Hardy lace-up leather boots. And you can see the back has a little bit of a heel, but again, it's that wedge, so it should be pretty comfortable. I think I'm going to wear these to Posh Fest, uh, probably the first day. I will be doing a video of my Posh Fest outfits probably next week, so be looking for that and I will model these then. But oh my gosh, if they fit, I guess they have to fit first. I just love them. I thought they were a beautiful, beautiful boot and very, very stylish. So I was very excited to find this. I honestly don't know which of these items is my favorite. I guess let me know down below what you think. They're just all so nice. So I put it all together and totaled the amount I would have paid for those six items that I just showed you guys at a regular retail store. And I would have paid $3,500 for those six items. Obviously, these are all high-end designer items. You're not gonna find this every time you go on Poshmark, but I ended up paying $250 for those six items. That is 7% of original price, which means I got 93% off retail price. You guys, if you are not shopping Poshmark yet, you should definitely check it out. This is not sponsored or anything, but it's just amazing to see what you can find online if you're just willing to do a little bit of research and have an idea in mind of what you're looking for. So that's my $3,500 retail price thrift haul. I got it for $250. I say that's an amazing deal. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the items I got and hopefully I'll be wearing some of them to Posh Fest 2018. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would really, really appreciate if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to continue to try to put out at least one video a week. So let me know what your favorite item was um, and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye guys.